Welcome to the Folktale Project. This is Dan Scholes. Today we have another Armenian folktale or fairy tale. And this story is a progressive tale, and it's one that feels very familiar. But I guarantee you, the ending is something completely new. And it even comes with an Aesop style moral at the end. This is The Old Woman and the Cat. Once upon a time, there was an old woman who had a goat. She milked that goat every day and kept the milk in the cupboard, but a sly cat came and licked it up. One day, however, the old woman succeeded in getting hold of the cat and cutting off her tail as punishment, let her go. Meow, meow, cried the cat. Give me my tail. Bring me my milk and I will give you your tail, said the old woman. The cat went to the goat and said, Goat, kind goat, do give me some milk. I will give it to the old woman and get back my tail. Bring me some boughs from yonder tree and I will give you milk, answered the goat. The cat went to the tree and said, Oh, good tree, do give me some boughs. I will take them to the goat, get a little milk, and give it to the old woman and get back my tail. Bring me some water and I will give you some boughs, answered the tree. The cat went to the water carrier and said, Kind water carrier, give me some water. I will take it to the tree and get some boughs, give them to the goat and get some milk, and give it to the old woman and get my tail. Bring me a pair of shoes and I will give you some water, said the water carrier. The cat went to the shoemaker and said, Shoemaker, good shoemaker, do give me a pair of shoes. I will give them to the water carrier, who will give me some water. I will take it to the tree and get some boughs for the goat. She will give me some milk, which I will take to the old woman and get my tail. Bring me an egg, and I will give you a pair of shoes, said the shoemaker. The cat then went to the hen and said, Hen, good hen, do lay me an egg. I will take it to the shoemaker and get a pair of shoes for the water carrier. He will give me some water, which I will take to the tree and get some boughs for the goat. She will give me some milk, which I will take to the old woman and get my tail. Bring me some barley, and I will lay an egg for you, answered the hen. The cat went to the threshing floor and said, Threshing floor, kind threshing floor, do give me some barley. The threshing floor said, There. You may gather the scattered barley which my good master has left as food for the birdies and ants. The cat gathered the barley and took it to the hen, which laid her an egg. She took the egg to the shoemaker and got a pair of shoes. She took the pair of shoes to the water carrier and got a pail full of water for the tree. The tree gave her some boughs which she took to the goat. The goat gave her some milk which she took to the old woman. Here is your tail, said the old woman, and be careful hereafter not to steal my milk. The cat took her tail and tried to stick it in its place, but she could not. She tried over and over again to stick it, with resin, with tar, and with glue, but it was of no use. So that cat has remained tailless to this day, as a sign of her being a thief. The Moral Wickedness is always punished. Nothing valuable can be gotten without labor, and the mark of a great sin cannot be erased. And that is the Armenian nursery tale of the old woman and the cat. And the other thing that I love about this tale is that in this particular recording of it, There's a bit of a postscript that says that the Armenian mother tells this tale to her child when she puts it to bed. Its effect upon the little one is very quieting, so that the child often goes to sleep before the tale is finished. So it's a nice little bedtime story that ends with a very harsh moral of don't make a mistake, because that sin cannot be erased. 
This is Dan Scholes for the Folktale Project. Don't forget that you can subscribe to the podcast on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Google Play, Overcast, anywhere you like to get your podcasts. You can follow us on Twitter at Folktale Project. You can find us on Auto Radio, TuneIn Radio, iHeartRadio, Spotify, anywhere you like to listen. And you can always head over to folktaleproject.com where you'll find a new story waiting for you every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Don't forget that if you'd like to help support the podcast, you can always head over to patreon.com slash folktaleproject where for as little as a dollar a month, you can get early access to every story told. As always, thank you so much for listening.